What's good YouTube? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Every single body you know the vibes it is, you know what I'm saying? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Congolese weddings and why I love them so much. And I'll also show you guys two of my favorite dresses that I've worn to weddings. So let's get right into this video. <laughs> Let me first tell you guys, now, I have been to more than 20 weddings, and I'm only 20, hey? I've been to more than 20 weddings in my life. And you might ask, oh my gosh, how, like, why? First of all, Congolese families are huge, like, they are huge. That aunties, 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 child, son, brother, friend, you're gonna go to their wedding. Why? Because <laughs> you family. So, I've been to so many of those weddings, but I must also shout out to my mom, though, because she was a wedding planner for like 10 years, and she planned so many weddings, and we were always invited to a lot of them, so shout out to all those couples that invited us to their weddings because they were dope. I had so much fun at every single wedding, and I look forward to so many more on the way because you know, you know the girls, the girls, the girls are pulling through for them. There's gonna be so many weddings after this whole corona pandemic virus could disappear. So I really love weddings. Weddings are fun. Proper, proper fun, yeah. And it saddens me. It honestly saddens me that there are people that have never been to a wedding. And it's like, what? Guys, weddings are, I don't like, <laughs> they're so exciting. There's so much adventure. And what I like about having my mom as a wedding planner is that I've always been behind the scenes of everything. If you had to ask me which side is the best side, like the groom side or being on the bright side, definitely the bright side. Even though there's so much happening on the bright side of things, it's just so exciting and I love, love, love that. Like there's so much drama, like ooh, the tea, the tea, the tea. On the groom side of things, you literally, you have to be civil, the bride, family usually does a lot of the stuff and we just go with the flow and we see you at the wedding but on the bride side we literally part of the dress picking part of the bridesmaids dresses we get pick the cake with them we go look at venues you know we look at different designs and all of that like i was literally part of all of that with my mom and it was quite fun you know even my brothers would help you in there but it was i really liked it um even though my mom <laughs> if you know if you know you know but it was fun like proper proper okay, so on the day of the wedding this is how everything goes down okay so for starters everybody's up at like seven so i'm gonna give you the bride side because the bride side is literally it's a rush it's like <sighs> there's a lot a lot happens on the day okay so in the morning everybody's awake we all meet up at the venue depending on where how far it is um sometimes we all meet up at the bride's house to get makeup done or you go straight to the venue and everyone does their makeup at the same place there's usually one makeup artist which is annoying because it's like why aren't we having two that speed up the process because it takes really long to do the bride's makeup as well as the bridesmaids because we usually have more than six bridesmaids every single wedding i've been to there's been so many bridesmaids and you don't even understand how many faces need to be done you know what i mean and you can't get your, get into your dress before you makeup is done and and then while you're doing makeup you're waiting for hair it's just it's chaotic it's chaotic but it's so exciting because everyone's talking everyone's telling stories you're bumping music it's like it's lit people that say the ceremony is gonna start at one o'clock they're lying <laughs> they're lying they're, they're gonna arrive at three o'clock i'm already telling you now it's very very difficult yeah to find a congolese wedding where you have people coming on time because everyone wants to be late but fashionably late on purpose and the bride and the groom are usually late advice to people getting married in the future don't have your ceremony outside because if the sun is banging <laughs> the sun is banging my makeup is running while i wait for you for two hours it's not cute it's proper not cute but we've learned from that we just hope that you know we save ourselves from those dramas in the future okay so after the ceremony happens you know it's time for the pictures so 
everyone, literally everyone wants to take a picture with the new couple in town, the new Mr. and Mrs. whatever. Everybody wants to take a picture and the thing is there are so many people and such little time because if my ceremony for example, we started late yeah, so we started at 3, we ended at 4.30 and the reception starts at 6, mind you, mind you. Every single Congolese wedding, y'all, I'm putting it out there, I'm letting you know, every single person at the wedding changes. Because we think we're bougie. <laughs> we are bougie, 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 bougie people. We literally have an outfit for the church service, and then we have an outfit for reception. If you don't change, <laughs> you didn't get the memo, but every single person changes. And we all come in looking like, oh my god, is that you? Because <laughs> you never saw me. You didn't see what I was wearing earlier. I'm in a different fit, baby. I'm in a different fit. From reception time, yeah? Freaking madness, y'all. People arrive so late. Like, it's annoying. It's so annoying that nothing happens on time. I don't think I've been to a wedding that happened on time and everything was perfect. It was a thing of, it was either that everyone started late or the groom and the bride went on with the reception and if you were late you were late you missed out do you know what i mean there was no in the middle there's no like compromise you know what i'm saying there's no starting on time it's ridiculous trust me i've been to a wedding that said six o'clock yeah i arrived at 8 30 and they still had not started embarrassing it's it's annoying because now it's like the food gets cold everyone's in a mood and we still need to listen to speeches, we still need to like dance, ugh, guys. But I wouldn't trade them for anything, because it's worth it. Like the stories after the wedding, <laughs> by far the best tea ever. The best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think you get anything like this anywhere else. <laughs> when the bride and groom arrive to the reception, there's always a, a, like a dance that they have with the bridesmaids and the groomsmen and everybody dances in and it's all fun and games, right? And after that, we all sit down, whatever, then there's speeches, there's introducing our families, there's, there's so much happening. So much happening. Sometimes um, the, the bridesmaids and the groomsmen have a dance dedicated to the couple, so then they do their own skits. You know, while all of this is happening, people are still arriving, people are still mingling, and you know the vibes. I think the latest I've eaten at a wedding was half past 11. I was mad. I, and I knew, I was like, should I eat McDonald's before I get to this wedding? It's like, nah, 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 it's fine. I'm gonna eat, nah, they're gonna feed me. Yo, guys, did not go there and I was proper starving. Ever since then, my family and I don't play games, yeah? We will eat before we go to the wedding because we never know what time we're gonna eat. We never know and it's quite annoying because sometimes with food they be really good and I wanna have seconds but I can't because I ate before because I didn't trust what time I was gonna eat <laughs> at the wedding, which is annoying. But we have to, have to, have to give a shout out to the DJs that make it worthwhile. Shout out to Mr. Rogers, for those of you, you guys know him. Guys, he was the best DJ ever. In the house, in the house, guys, guys. Ugh. Like, amazing, love him. And genuinely, every song was, you know, it followed. It was like, yes, yes, banger after banger after banger after banger, baby, you know? <laughs> And you might be asking, okay, what time does everything end if you only ate like the one time at half past 11? Babes, our parties go till 6 in the morning. 6 in the morning. That was the, the best one was till 6 in the morning, yeah? But I think that most of the parties ended like 3 a.m. And then we all like crash at the hotel or we all go home after, depending on how far it is once again. But nonetheless, like guys, those weddings, yeah, the best. Ugh. I really, I can't wait to go to the next wedding because it's gonna be banging. <laughs> like, oh. I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot. Let me just show you guys my favorite two dresses that I rocked. <laughs> Let's get it. in Cape
Cape Town like two years ago and it was so cute like it's top two and two you know like a lot of people wear long dresses at the reception but I took a risk and I was like let me go for it you know and I wore a short dress to the reception it was quite nice and um, something different I've never done it before but I really really liked how it turned out and yeah I like wearing different dresses to different weddings because each dress reminds me of a specific wedding and the memories made at that specific wedding and this one is probably my favorite um i really had a lot of fun at this wedding i danced and i ate a lot and it was good it was it was a good wedding oh my gosh i really want to go back to weddings like <laughs> anyway let's go to the next dress the next dress guys <laughs> Wait for it. Guys, this me. <laughs> it's me. It's your girl. I mean, <laughs> hi. Guys, this is top two and not top two. Bad, bring it back, bring it back. Uh, I can put you on a bike. You know that a nigga like me can change your life, oh babe. Everything you do is amazing. I am snatched. I am the girl. The girl. <laughs> it's me. I mean, I don't even know why you girls bother at this point. Like, keep it up. Yep. It's me. Yep. I win. Yep. <laughs> you lose. Yep. 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 <laughs> so I really like this material. It just looks banging and the color stands out. I really love, love this dress. Like, people's. People's people were looking at me, bro. Everyone was like, <sighs> it was a bit embarrassing, but we move, we keep slaying the game. And it was very difficult to do a lot of da dance moves, obviously, because of the slit, like it's really high. But <sighs> that didn't stop me. That didn't stop me at all. I was on the dance floor the whole night, baby, guys. This dress. Before I cry, let me, let me just get out of this dress because too many memories. <laughs> I hope that you guys learned a lot about Congolese weddings. I hope you got some tips about like, you know, changing and how we act and what time to arrive, what time to expect to leave. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to comment your favorite dress. And your name. Thank you so much for watching and I'll check you on the next video. Bye guys.